Your next six Caillou challenge is called Split Strings. Complete the solution so that it splits the string into pairs of two characters. If the string contains an odd number of characters, then it should replace the missing second character of the final pair with an underscore character. Look at the examples. Consider ABC. And note this is an abuse of language, at least in C-sharp. Um, that would be a string, right? That should be double quotes for us using C-sharp. And similarly, so please just look beyond that for the examples. Consider the string ABC. The first two characters are AB, so you make a pair out of those and insert it into your string array answer. And then because it's an odd number, C is all alone, you give it this underscore character to make another size two string. And since the second example is size six, everything pairs up okay evenly. You don't have to add an underscore, so you have A, B, C, D, E, F. Pretty straightforward, right? I know you can do this one, so go ahead and pause it and come on back when you're ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the length of the string. And if it's odd, I'm just going to go ahead and add on that trailing underscore character. And then once I do that, I can treat everything like it's an even string and just sort of loop through and grab two characters at a time and add them to some resulting string array and return that. It can be as simple as that. So let's say if string length um, modulo two is not equal to zero, right? That's how we learned how to check if something is even or odd. If it's even, it will be modulo two. Modulo two will be equal to zero, rather. And if not, that implies that it's an odd value. So this means we have an odd value. Let's take string then and add on to it an underscore character like that. So at this point, after this line executes, um, whether this has to execute or not, we can safely assume that we have a string of even length. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to determine the number of elements that I need in my resulting array. And to do that, I can simply take the length over two. So int, uh, you could say num elements would be string length over two. And then I'll set up this string array. We usually call what we return the result, but you can name it how you like. New string array of size num elements, right? Since they're pairs, there's only half as many elements, right? And then you can simply do a for loop. I equals zero, I is less than num elements and increment I. And then in your for loop, then we just kind of want to grab two characters at a time and put them in the correct spot in our result array. So we could do something like result I is going to be equal to string substring. Let's use substring to get uh, two characters at a time. And then using the index of our for loop, we could do something like i times two. And then we know the second parameter in the substring method is optional and it tells us how many characters to take. And that is clearly two in this challenge, right? We always want two characters. So good. It'll grab two at a time and load it into our result array. And so note that when we start i is zero, two times zero is still zero, that's great. Then it will start at zero at the beginning, grab the first two characters. We come back, i gets incremented, right? It goes up to one. One times two is two, so now we start at index two. We skipped over indexes or indices zero and one. Just what we wanted. And hopefully you see as this increments to two, now you start at position four, skipping the first four elements, and it's sort of proceeds through the string as we'd want it to. And then when you're done, you could say, um, simply return the result, right? And so um, I think that's all we really have to do.
good. Attempt. And we're still, we're gold and green. Good. So yeah, not much to say. I just uh, did this little bit at the beginning to make sure I could treat the strings in a uniform manner and just um, be able to rely upon them being of an even length. And that made it pretty simple, right? Then it was just a matter of starting at the beginning and pulling two characters at a time. So I don't think there's anything to clean up. If you didn't like this um, bit, you could refactor and just sub in string length for wherever num elements is used. Um, I don't mind this. I like um, I like having a variable, especially if the calculation here were really expensive. You kind of want to load it up once and not have to keep making it perform the mathematical operation multiple times. This isn't a difficult math problem for a computer dividing by two, so it's not such a big deal here, but it's something to think about when you have expensive method calls. You know, you can imagine this is calling out to another method in our class. If that's expensive or even somewhat expensive, it makes sense sometimes just to kind of cache a result here locally and then just reuse it instead of having to go per do another method call or a mathematical calculation again. So doesn't really factor in here, but doesn't hurt to think about. So yeah, I'll go ahead and submit. Um, and you can go through, it looks like, yeah, other people are doing the same kind of thing. Um, so yeah, instead of saying modulo two equals not equal to zero, you could just say modulo two equals to one. You know, some people say tomato, some people say tomato. Um, here's one if you love link you can work it out that way regular expression way cool so yeah see what else you can learn from other people too otherwise show me what you came up with hit me up with those question comments otherwise we'll keep moving thanks for watching